This is KNEV.TV weather from the KNEV Storm Center, your trusted source for weather. We're going to be dealing with cloudy skies tonight. Winds are going to be a little gusty. It'll be breezy at times here this evening. Winds will taper off a bit after midnight, but winds are going to return again tomorrow and leave us in for a cloudy day tomorrow. Again, some snow squalls around, blowing snow early this evening. Windy again tomorrow. Snow is going to return Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. All four of those days, a decent chance of getting some snow. Some accumulations look likely. And then frigid temps are going to be around starting on Sunday. Yesterday, we hit a high of 36 after a morning low of 12. As we take a look at uh, precip-wise, another day with nothing in the rain gauge. Uh, we're at an inch 31. We added a little bit to that today. Uh, so still over an inch above normal for the month and year. And we added just a trace of snowfall today, still running uh, 17 and a half inches or so ahead for the year and almost uh, 13 and uh, change close to 14 inches above normal for the month. And the precip chances are not done. We bring in some scattered uh, chances of snow again Friday, Saturday, Saturday night, Sunday, Sunday night, and even Monday. Uh, so a decent chance of getting some snow and some accumulations are coming with that. We'll get to that here in a moment. Windy tomorrow and then winds taper off quite a bit as we go Friday into next week, which is good because temps are going the opposite direction. They're plummeting downward. We'll give it a C plus tomorrow on the way to school with partly cloudy skies. A D minus though on the way home as we're going to have cloudy skies. It's going to be windy and all in all, just not a very nice day yesterday. Look at those cold temps in the uh, Fargo area and Sioux Falls, single digits there. Those spill down into eastern Nebraska. We've got teens in central and eastern Nebraska, northeast Nebraska especially. The rest of the state in the 20s, eastern Wyoming in the 20s, teens up in the high country. There's a 22 in Cheyenne, 29 in Shadron, and pretty much somewhere in between for everybody. Winds have been strong all day today. They're out of the northwest at about 10 to 20, gusting to 30 to 35. So even though temps aren't terrible, those wind chills not very kind at all in the single digits and teens. Some areas there below zero in the high country. Future cast tonight to doing a good job picking up on snow squalls. You'll see them continue to move here across the region through the rest of the evening hours. And then overnight tonight, they'll finally come to an end and push away from us. As we take a look at what we see going into Thursday afternoon, some clearing for a bit, and then a repeat of maybe some more snow squalls and snow showers in here Thursday night into Friday morning. Again, a, a few more of those around the region again. So tomorrow, not going to be a lot different from today, although I do think we'll see a, maybe a little bit more sun, and unfortunately, it'll be a touch windier. Lows tonight, teens to near 20. Highs tomorrow in the 30s for most of us. And as far as snowfall, this is just the first batch. This is what to, is to come through Friday night into early Saturday morning. Light accumulations, except in northern areas. And really, as we take a look at what we've got coming through the weekend, right now models are showing most of the snow in the northern portions of our area, certainly being favored there in those areas. Lesser amounts the further south you go and you get along I-80, maybe an inch or less. We'll keep an eye on that, but again, some light to moderate accumulations looking pretty likely in some areas maybe by the time you take uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, add them all together, going to end up with several inches of snow. Tonight's forecast has some flurries and snow squalls around. Partial clearing late, lows of 20. It'll be breezy. Tomorrow, downright windy. High temperatures maybe around 35 with winds uh, gusting at times over 40. And then our seven-day forecast, we continue to... Stay active, bringing in some snow showers by Friday afternoon into Friday night and Saturday. Snow showers are likely on Saturday, and then temperatures absolutely plummet. Look at those highs in the single digits and lows below zero Sunday and Monday. Maybe getting into the teens by Tuesday, but a stretch of very cold temps definitely on the way.